So I got a little bit of an issue. I have this light switch located right here, and you can see it turns on and off the light over the table behind me. The only problem is this is a three-way light switch. So it means we have a light located here, but also one located over here by our door that goes outside. And you can see this flickers the light, but it doesn't actually turn it on or off. And if I leave this switch in the down position, now all of a sudden I've lost the functionality at this light switch. So I need to troubleshoot this circuit. And for three-way light switches, this is the one of the most common issues I see where they are wired incorrectly. It is a bit confusing. I would say it's a 201 or level two DIY electrical project, but it's still doable. So I'm gonna jump in and figure out the circuit get it fixed so both of those are working in conjunction with each other as they should. I'll show you a new type of three-way light switch with some pretty neat features, pretty much purpose-built for DIY electrical. And then finally, we'll touch on the many other types of wiring circuits that you could have for a three-way light switch. They are not all the same, and depending on where your power is coming in, your power is going out to your lighting circuit, anything else running from that circuit and where your light switches are located, there are many different ways this could be wired. So I'll show you a few different examples to make sure you can also apply this to your own situation at your house. So let's jump into it. Starting off, we'll just open things up by removing the face plate. Now, in addition to removing the face plate, I'll just mark this as switch one for your reference. And I'll also remove the screws to mount this three-way light switch. You might have to remove others depending on what axis you need. We'll mark this one as switch two so we can reference back and forth throughout the video. But with this one, I'm gonna score that faceplate, making sure I don't make any damage to the drywall or the paint. And then removing this light switch, I'll do the same and score the bottom of that switch, making sure I can remove it without any damage. So immediately I knew there was gonna be an issue because we have a three-way light switch that actually only has two wires coming in. Now we have our black screw, which is common. You would expect this to either have the power coming in or you would connect it up to the hot going to your light, usually. Then we'd have one of the two travelers, which is the gold color, and then the other traveler. This is not even connected up in this instance. But what I do have is I do have a common power source here. So this wire nut with all the black conductors, that is providing power. That is connected actually to the correct screw terminal in this case. But then I only have my white, which is usually my neutral, going back here to a 14.3 that has a black hot conductor, which is also tied into the same wire nut as my pigtail here coming out. So that's just wrong. And we'll work through how to rewire this and get it correct. I have a red conductor here that usually be one of your travelers that is connected to the black conductor, which goes back to a actually a 12-2 Romex, usually I'd like to see 14-2 Romex, which that is actually going to my lights. So that Romex back here is going to my lights. And it should be noted, I have all the power out in especially these multi-gang boxes. Be careful because this one specifically has three circuits that needs to be deactivated. Make sure you have no power coming into this box. So that's what's going on here at switch one. Let's take a look at switch two. Okay, so on switch two here, okay, at least this time we have three wires coming in. Now we are not grounded on these light switches. Check in your local state or municipality, depending on where your code is governed at to see if you need to be grounding your switches. But they're all coming from that 14.3 that was running into the box before. So that right there doesn't make sense, right? If they're, everything's coming just from that 14.3, what they were trying to do is feed back a signal. And you saw in the other box where our Romex going up to the light was tied into this red. Now that is not correct. So let me show you a schematic to what we will change this to, which should fix our problem. And one of the keys is in this box here, I do actually have a power source. So I'm gonna use this power source at this box, and then I'll be connecting that up to the black screw terminal here. 
and then we'll be connecting up our neutrals, tying them into the rest of the neutrals, and then using our 14-3 Romex with the black and red to serve as what are called our travelers. Then on the other side, we'll be connecting it to the light, and that should be a standard setup for a three-way and should solve our problem. But let's take a look at the schematic and it'll make more sense. When it comes to three-way light switches, I always reference this Black & Decker Complete Guide to Wiring. Now online, you can find anything, right? You can get all different scenarios. There's all sorts of great forms, but this book I like because it has all these different setups for your different types of three-way light switch configurations depending on where your light and power are coming in. The one we're gonna use is right here. And I do recommend for DIYers, if you do not have this book already, you can look down in the description, you'll see a link over to our Amazon store in the electrical section, and you might actually have to press the more button to expand out the listings past the Wago lever nuts. You'll see this book as a recommendation. I think this book is great and it can really help you increase your knowledge of electrical, making sure you're doing up to code, and this is the latest version. So we're gonna make it where switch two is gonna bring in power to the common terminal. We're gonna use our 14.3 Romex that's already running between the two switches. My black and red conductors are gonna be connected to the two travelers, the two gold screw terminals. Or you'll see we'll use a little different switch that has, again, consistent coloring across the travelers. Then on the other end, we're removing the power because we have power and light going to the same side. In this case, we're going to connect up our common to our 12-2 that was going up to the lights. Again, that should be matching. You don't usually like to see 14 and 12 on the same circuit. Connecting our red and black conductors from our 14-3 to the travelers, just like we did at switch two. So this would be switch one. And then we'll just be tying in the neutrals there at each of the boxes, which should give us the correct operation across both of our switches. But let's wire it up and check out to make sure everything's okay. And then we'll jump back and look at a few of these other configurations. And I'll do quick screenshots just in case these different configurations will help you in your scenario. Your scenario. Starting off at switch one, I'm just gonna remove the old three-way light switch. Then remember, we're not going to be providing power at switch one. We're going to be going over to switch two for that. So I'm taking off that pigtail, which I will use over at switch two. And then I'm just going to be connecting up that hot coming in with a Wago 221 412, a two wire Wago lever nut, just passing along that power to the light switch at the end of our four gang box. And I'll just tuck that back in. Now I did miss video of undoing that wire nut right there with the neutral and I was bringing the additional neutral in and upgrading that wire nut because we have so many connectors coming together, it needs the largest wire nut you can get. Tucking that back in is no small task with all those conductors, so I use the back of my Klein's pliers to kind of negotiate it back into place. Now I had mentioned I'm gonna use a DIY friendly Leviton Decora Edge. These are brand new and you can really only get a normal light switch, a three-way light switch, and a 15 amp outlet. They just have these levers that hold in the wires and you can pass 12 or 14 gauge wire in the back and these are not like speed wiring or backstabbing. So first up, we'll bring the hot conductor into the common. That is going to provide power to the light. So that's going up to the light. Then I'm gonna connect up my two travelers that are going to the 14.3 Romex. So the 14.3 Romex, remember, will have the ground, it'll have the neutral that goes into that bundle of neutrals back there, and then the two travelers. Tucking that back into place. And now with the Decora Edge, if you have normal face plates, you need to snap off this part of the actual base there. That will make sure it fits underneath that faceplate, but those bases are kind of nice depending on the faceplate that you have. It might give you a little bit more room to grab onto the drywall and make sure everything lines up flush. So we'll just pull that back, switch back into the box. And then I don't really want to button everything up just yet because we want to confirm that our work actually works, right? We don't know yet that everything's good because we don't have the power on. Let's jump over to switch two, and now I want to provide power. So I'm gonna remove that old switch, strip off 
our two travelers and then that neutral. And then I'm going to tie in that pigtail I removed from switch one side back here to provide us the power from this power source that's coming into the box. Using my clients, I'm gonna pre-twist, making sure none of those conductors are hanging out too much. So when we twist our wire nut on, it grabs and gives us a solid hold. Okay, so now we have our black hot coming in. Again, we're going to tie together our neutrals, pre-twisting with the clients, making sure none of the copper is hanging out, trimming it up, and then twisting back on our wire nut. Now we'll use the same Leviton Decora Edge. I wanna actually try these out in my home. They're so new, I haven't really tried them, so I wanna give them a go. And we'll simply wire those up, super easy and super quick. Now everything's wired up and the power's back on. So now I can test things out here at our switch that was working before. That looks promising. Now let's go over to the problem child, the switch that was not working and I don't even have it mounted yet. So obviously be careful with this, but that is encouraging. Now let's leave it off. Let's try all those different scenarios, leave it off and see if we can turn on over here. All right. So now we have our three-way light switch fixed, but the thing is yours might be a little bit different. So let me go through about five or six different variations. I'll only spend a couple seconds on each one showing you the schematic, and you can pause the video if you need to, if you need that for reference at your home. So first up would be three-way light switch. The nice thing, it gives you actual room diagrams as well. This would be where the fixture is in the middle. Another example is a three-way light switch where you have the fixture at the start of the run. Then we'd move on to our example, right? The three-way light switch where the fixture is at the end of the run. That's exactly what we went through. Then we have a three-way switch where the and light fixture uh, where we're pulling also power for a duplex receptacle. Not done yet. We have a three-way switch and you have multiple light fixtures here. Then you're gonna be between those switches. Then we're gonna have multiple light fixtures there at the beginning of the run. And that is it. Then we start getting into four-way switches. All right, so that is it. And hopefully it helped you guys out. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. Usually with three-way light switches, there's no shortage of questions. Now, a few other videos of reference. If you need help understand where wires are going, you might wanna do a continuity check. So here's a video that'll walk you through how to do that with a digital multimeter. Then if you wanna go deeper with those Leviton Decora Edge, I'll actually open those up and show you what's inside. Check out this video right here, and we'll give you the full breakdown as they are very new to the market. So thanks for joining me on this video, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.